Okay, so you might find this very shocking, but a lot of people that are going to try this problem are going to get it wrong. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read you the problem. It is negative 5 minus 4 squared. What is the answer? So if you want to try this, go ahead and put your calculators away. You just want to use that supercomputer in between your ears, this thing right here. That is much better than AI. Matter of fact, that's actual intelligence, far more uh, powerful than artificial intelligence. So hopefully uh, you're going to be able to do this problem. So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer here in just one moment. But uh, for those of you that are going to get this wrong, you're probably going to make this very common error. And of course, I'll uh, go over that in just one second. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go to take a look at the answer. We have negative five minus four squared. What is the correct answer? Well, it is negative 21. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, hopefully you got this right. And if that's the case, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus A 100%. And multiple stars so you could brag to your friends and uh, friends and family that you indeed you are an expert in PEMDAS. Okay, that is the order of operations, but that's not the part that uh, confuses students. Really, it is taking powers of numbers. Okay, this is the part right here that tends to get a lot of students in trouble uh, on problems like this. And I'll show you what I mean here in just one second. So if you didn't get this correct, you very well may have made a, uh, a mistake when it comes to taking powers of numbers. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean right now. Okay, so first things first, uh, the first thing we need to do is consider the order of operations. Okay, now uh, hopefully you're familiar with this phrase. This is a PEMDAS. It is the correct order of operations. Remember in mathematics when we're adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and taking powers, these are mathematical operations. And we need to know the correct order to do problems that have more than one operation in them. So in this particular problem, we have subtraction and we are taking a power, right? So the order of operations, which is, of course, this, uh, well, we can remember it by this little phrase here or this little acronym, PEMDAS. And it's just a checklist. We go from left to right. So P-E-M-D-A-S. There's a cute little phrase that goes with this that is Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I'm not sure what Aunt Sally did, but we thank her for her cool little phrase. Okay, so just a quick review of PEMDAS. Again, we're going from left to right. So P is parentheses. We're going to do anything uh, when we see parentheses first or brackets uh, or these kind of brackets. We're basically talking about grouping symbols. So in this problem, we don't have any parentheses, so we'll move on to E. E stands for exponents or powers, right? So when you have a power like 2 to the third power, this part of the power here is called the exponent. So the E is basically powers next. Now the next thing is M and D. Now a lot of students confuse this. They think the M is multiplication and the D is division. That's what it stands for. MD stands for multiplication and division. A is addition and S is subtraction. So a lot of students think, oh, I must do multiplication, then division, then addition and subtraction in this uh, strict order. That's actually not the case. The M and D and A and S are groups, okay? You'll do multiplication, then division, whatever you see first from, uh, from left to right. So if you had division, then multiplication, you would do this, okay? Same thing with the uh, addition and subtraction. It's whatever you see first from left to right. Okay, so looking at this problem here, uh, uh, you know, this should be pretty straightforward, right? So a lot of you are like, okay, do I see any parentheses? No. Do I see any powers? Yes, right? So we're going to focus in on the power part right there for squared. So if you're thinking, yes, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, that's what I did, but I still got the wrong answer. Well, it's probably because you made this error. All right, so here we are talking about 
uh, taken powers first. We just went over that. But before I show you this very common error, I'd like you to do something that hopefully is going to be very common for me, and that is people uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Okay, It has a tremendous positive impact on the growth of my channel, which of course that you know um, is really helping me reach my goal, which is to try to uh, teach as many people as possible mathematics, right? So if you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button, I would be just like, you know, my, I would look like this, okay? So happy. Anyways, back to the problem. Okay, now before I show you this, this is the part of the problem where a lot of students will tend to make an error. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at that error right now. All right, so negative 5 minus 4 squared. So this right here, the power part is 4 squared. That's what we need to do, not negative 4 squared. Okay, And you might be surprised, but a lot of students think that this uh, subtraction sign is in front of this negative 4. Okay, That's just a common uh, you know, misunderstanding. And it's easy to see that, right? Because I could look at this problem as negative 5 minus 4 squared or plus negative 4 squared, okay? So this right here, this negative 4 squared, when you're doing PEMDAS, the order of operations, you're not doing this negative. Uh, the negative is the opposite of 4 squared, right? Let's just really uh, take a look at this a little bit further. So if I had negative 4 squared and I'm doing the order of operations, this is the opposite of 4 squared. So 4 squared, of course, is 16. So the answer will be negative 16. It is not saying negative 4 squared, okay? If you were trying to take the square of negative 4, you would have to put that in parentheses, okay? So this is not, not, uh, not what we have here. You're not taking the square of negative 4, okay? And, you know, for me, I've been, uh, you know, teaching for decades and decades, and, you know, I probably created maybe 10 million homeworks, tests, quizzes, not that many, but a lot. And you, you just see these common trends. So for whatever reason, students tend to confuse this, all right? So if you made this mistake, I'm glad you did. So we can kind of, uh, you know, uh, clarify exactly what to do here, right? So we are taking four squared, not negative four squared, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer now. So negative... Um, uh, 4 squared, excuse me, let me kind of go back here, is what? Well, that's positive 4 times positive 4, which, of course, is 16. So negative 5 minus 4 squared is going to be negative 5 minus 16. And now we are kind of home free to figure this out. So negative 5 minus 16. If you are up to speed on your positive and negative number rules, this is the same thing as negative 5 plus negative 16. Of course, negative 5 plus negative 16 is negative 21. Okay, so, you know, again, you know, as a math teacher, you see that it's these very little simple misunderstandings that tend to get students in uh, trouble, okay? So if you made this little error, believe me, you're not alone, uh, you know, and that's why I make these videos. I try to highlight, uh, you know, places where uh, students tend to make a lot of errors. That's a lot of videos I make um, for my YouTube channel um, are, you know, the type of problems where I can kind of highlight a common mistake, all right? So if you can avoid or learn the common mistakes and, and avoid them, that's just going to make you much, much better in math. But here's the bottom line. If you want to improve in mathematics, you have to practice, okay? But before you practice, you have to get great instruction, clear and understandable math instruction, and that's what I try to do. Now, if you need help with uh, this level of math, and this would be kind of like basic math. Uh, let me go ahead and suggest two courses. You'll find the links to the, um, these courses in the description. My Math Foundations course, that's just a quick basic math review, or like my pre-algebra course, this would be kind of, uh, you know, math, uh, this math level of math is kind of uh, at those levels, okay? But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.